Triggers are a great way to have more control over the objects and NPCs that populate your UGC missions. Whether you want to add randomization or create a simple kill volume, triggers are the way to go for fine-tuning object and NPC behavior. In this tutorial video, I'll cover using triggers with monitors and volumes, as well as creating a trigger group with a selector. The first thing to keep in mind is that a trigger is a noun, in other words, a who-what. When you look through the object modifier, you'll notice that the trigger option resides in the who-what field. Basically, the trigger is whoever or whatever entered or exited a volume or met the condition the monitor is set to watch for. Normally, the object modifier acts on a group level. If group A is selected in the who-what, the modification will be applied to every object or NPC contained in group A. With the trigger option, the user is able to modify the attributes of an individual NPC or object within a single group. The trigger can be modified by any option in the Modify menu of the object modifier. For example, to create a kill volume that will only affect the NPC who entered it, you'd set the volume's options to the group you want the volume to affect, any, on entry, and yes, and then connect it to an object modifier with the options health, trigger, zero. Now, only the NPC who enters the volume will have their health set to zero. The same logic applies when using the trigger option with a monitor. If you only want an enemy's waypoint to disappear when they're arc restrained, you create a group where every member is shown on the minimap as a waypoint. Check out our waypoint tutorial for more info on this. Then you'd place a monitor set to arc restrain, any, group A, and connect it to an object modifier set to map, trigger, no. Now, when any member of group A is arc restrained, only their waypoint will disappear. Again, the trigger can be modified by any option in the Modify menu of the object modifier and used with any condition in the monitor. When referring to trigger groups, the trigger option isn't the same as those used in my previous examples. The trigger group is created by the selector logic box. The selector will assign a random group member of the designated group to be the trigger. Once the selector has assigned a trigger, you can modify the trigger with the object modifier. For example, if you create a group called Bomb that contains five bombs, and you want a random bomb to explode when the mission starts, you would use a selector to randomly assign a bomb into the trigger group, and then use an object modifier to detonate the trigger. This way, every time the mission is played, a random bomb will detonate. Using the selector to assign a random group member to be the trigger removes the need to create a separate group for each bomb, thus cutting down on the number of logic boxes needed to create a sense of randomization. Monkey around with them for a bit to figure out how you can best utilize them in your missions. Be sure to visit the infamous two UGC forums for the latest contests and in-depth tutorials. PlayStation.